we take and we start taking these res resistors and putting them into circuits and talking about what happens with different arrangements of circuits. So we need to understand some terminology having to do with circuits and we need to uh, know what the diagrams look like to be able to draw circuit diagrams. So that's the basic idea of what's happening today. It actually starts with a picture that we um, looked at in chapter 19. This is a circuit we talked about before. This is a very basic circuit with a battery and a resistor. This type of resistor specifically is designed to take electric potential energy and convert it to light energy, uh, also heat and sound energy. The way this works, the way we draw it is this. This right here represents the battery and two wires coming off the battery. These two, the long and the short lines, specifically identify the terminals of the battery, points A and points D. Point A uh, would be the positive terminal of the battery, and the negative would be the short. So specifically, when you draw a battery, the long line of the battery is the positive, the short line of the battery is the negative. I'm going to put next to that delta V sub T, which stands for the terminal voltage. The terminal voltage is the voltage at the terminals of the battery. So if you were to measure the, the uh, potential difference across the terminals of the battery, that would be the terminal voltage. For example, this is a 9 volt battery. Uh, and for reasons I'm not going to get into, the terminal voltage technically would be slightly less than that. For this class, uh, it's fine to say it's a 9-volt battery, uh, which also means that we can refer to something called the EMF, which is also, uh, we use a symbol, which is that symbol right there, and it is the ideal voltage across the battery. So the EMF technically of this battery should be 9 volts. The terminal voltage would be slightly less than that. In this class, we don't really get into the differences between the EMF and the terminal voltage. Uh, if you take AP Physics C, you will get to learn the differences. It has to do with the internal resistance of the battery and all that stuff, which we don't really get into. So in this class, the EMF and the terminal voltage can be considered to be the same. So, so far, we have the battery. We have wires going off of the battery, which I'm going to draw like this. In this class, remind me what, Dana, is the resistance of wires in this class? Uh, Dana. Remind me, the resistance of wires in this class. Perhaps? Zero. Zero. Remember, it's just we assume in an ideal case that the resistance of the wires is going to be zero, just like we're, flying, we're living in the vacuum that you can breathe right now. We have attached that to a resistor. This is the symbol for a resistor. I'll just put an R next to it to identify the resistor in this particular case, which would be uh, converting heat or electric potential energy into heat, light, and sound at a certain number of joules per second. All right, so we need to figure out the direction of the current in this circuit. The way we do that is we start with an anthropomorphic charge. Anthropomorphic. Hello? Uh, having human-like characteristics. Having human-like characteristics. We're going to talk to this anthropomorphic charge. Usually charges can't talk. Usually they don't make decisions, but we're going to act like it can. This helps you to understand what happens in the circuit. Why are we using a positive charge? I thought it was electrons that moved in a circuit. Heather? Remember, current is defined by a positive charge. So we're going to take a small anthropomorphic test charge. We're going to place it right there on the wire. We're going to ask that charge, charge, do you feel attracted or repelled from that positive plate? Charge. You are the charge, by the way. Repelled from that positive plate. In other words, charge, are, do you feel a force to the right or to the left at your present location? To the right. Okay. Charge. Do you feel attracted or repelled from the negative plate? Attracted. attracted to. In other words, relative to the negative plate, do you feel a force to the right or to the left? To the right. Also to the right. So notice that this anthropomorphic charge 
is being repelled from the positive plate, which to the right, and being attracted to the negative plate, which is also to the right. In other words, the current would be to the right on the top wire. Continuing that all the way around, you can figure out that the current is down through the resistor, current is to the left in the bottom wire, and the current is up through the battery. In other words, the current around this loop goes clockwise relative to where you are standing right now. That is the basic idea of this basic circuit.